Hey guys, happy Hungry Wednesday. How are we all going? Uh, it's been a couple of weeks. Uh, I've been on holiday, so um, those of you that watched the Fads on Tour um, one, I, uh, I was in Indonesia. We ended up in uh, three different islands in Indonesia. Uh, came back, went to work for two days, then came back and then went on a cruise. Uh, unfortunately, I've got no footage of the cruise because I got crook. I got sick. I was uh, laid up in the cabin with a, a, um, a stomach bug. So, no drinking. And um, it was only a five-day cruise and I was probably sick for about half of it. Um, the first couple of days were really good. Uh, and a bit disappointed because they had a um, seven taps of Matilda Bay, all different all different beers and a, and a, a cider that I, I, I really wanted to get on camera but anyway that's the way it goes but I'm back and uh, back to work and uh, brew wise I have the Cooper's Pale Ale that um, I cultured the yeast from the Cooper's bottles um, the recipe was uh, just a Cooper's can and some light dry malt I like I said I use the yeast I, I cultured yeast from from six stubbies. Um, also did a boil with Amarillo, Cascade, and Citra hops. So that's on this tap here. I think this it's been sitting on the floor warm in my garage while I've been away, and I, I just uh, popped it in the freezer in the um, keezer yesterday. So I'm not sure how this is going to come out. But why will? Not a bit frothy. But that's this one. I'll just sit that there and let it settle. Oh, it looks alright. A bit cloudy. Um, obviously a bit frothy. Probably should have burped the keg. But um, I'll just let that sit for a sec. Um, so sorry guys, I haven't seen any videos or or anything like that. I've I've um just been back to work uh, for two days. Oh, I can smell this. I can smell the hops in this. So. It looks like it's going to be good. Oh, it smells really good. So I'm keen to try this one. I haven't tried it yet. So I, um, in between trips, I transferred it from the fermenter to the keg. And um, because I didn't want to leave fridges on and stuff while I was away, because last time I did that, um, a circuit breaker blew and I ended up with two freezers full of meat that uh, we had in the freezers. It smelt like a morgue when we got home from Bali because the um, trip to switch and none of the power points worked, which turns all the fridges off. So um, that was horrendous. Very, very bad. Uh, so uh, it took us hours to clean that up after flying through the night and three hours in the car to get home. Hadn't been asleep for about 30 hours. Get home and the house smells like a dead person. So, <laughs> anyways. Um, so this is the pale ale. It's um it's a bit cloudy, but I expected that. I haven't put any gelatin or anything in this one. Nice, really, really taut head there, so that's good. Uh, I'm just gonna oh it's it, the aroma is unreal. Oh I can smell straight away I can I can tell that this has amarillo hops in it. Oh it's really really good. I did a boil and then I um I dry hopped it. I can't remember the, the quantities, I just sort of, I put in the dry hop whatever I had left, which is probably about, probably 60 grams in total, I'm guessing like 10 and 20 and 30 or something along those lines, I don't know what, I've, but it smells like I put a fair amount of Amarillo in there. Oh yeah, it's really good. Really nice. Super fruity. Um, head's not going anywhere, as you can see. It's, um, I don't know if you can see, it's pretty dark in here, but um, it is a bit cloudy still, but I sort of expected that. It's only been in the, um, the keys since yesterday. So it's, um, it's cold, but, um, but uh, I'm sure as it sits in there, if it gets time to sit in there, um, it'll come out really good. So, 
Um, I'll keep this one short, guys. Um, brew wise coming up. I've got the Ruby Mild Ale. Still haven't done that yet. Um, I really... That's the all-grain one. I've got all the grains for it, except for the chocolate malt. I need to source that from somewhere. Uh, it's only 150 grams, so I might jump on the net and order that tonight. Or ring my home brew shop and see if he's got it this time. Um, if he hasn't, I'll just order it. But I'm really keen to get that one done, so that's like a hobgoblin clone. And um, I'll drink this down, and then I'm off to the club. Poker on tonight. I know... At least one of you guys, and you know who you are, plays a lot of poker. Um, so, yeah, I've played poker for years and going to the club tonight, play a bit of poker, have a few skews, and um, have a nice feed. They've got a really nice feed up there. So, that's the plan for tonight with the missus. And so, cheers, guys. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Got, um, uh, an appointment with Big Al on Friday afternoon um, So I'll see if I can take some video of that He's got a couple of his mates coming over And I'll take the pond with me uh, We're all going to try some beers and, and stuff It's sort of the, the get together of the um, the making of our, our home brew club My old man, Big Al, he lives in a retirement type village with my mum And um, there's lots of guys in there apparently that that have uh, been brewing for many, many, many years. So I'm interested to, to talk to those guys and and uh, get their feedback on, I'm gonna take a heap of beers up there and we'll get some feedback on what they reckon and and um, see what beers they've got and stuff. So I'll try to take some footage of that. But um, like I say, I'll keep this one short. It's up to seven minutes already. But um, it's good to be back and uh, I'll try and watch as many videos as I can. Um, I couldn't watch any videos while I was away. I had no no internet connection really um, wherever I went. So and like I say, I missed the footage on the boat, but um, we had a really good time. So recharged, ready to go, keen to get back into brewing. So cheers, guys! Happy homebrew Wednesday. Hope everyone's well and uh, live life, drink beer. See you later.